Hi, my name is James Emerling. I'm a science education consultant with Oakland Schools in Michigan and an open SCIED field test facilitator for, um, for Michigan. And I just wanted to show you a couple of updates that I made, um, one being to the maps of Earth's surface over the last 50 million years. This is in Open Syed Unit 8.6, the Penguin Unit or Natural Selection, and uh, Lesson 3. And uh, rather than doing this in PDF form, I thought it was more useful to see it in a uh, Google Slides form so kids can click through it and see the movement of the of the Earth's surface. And so you'll see here 50 million years ago, note where the, where the um, plates are, and then notice the separation um, across uh, the building of the Atlantic Ocean through these. Also, you can see uh, the movement of India. And so if I click through them again, you can see India running into Asia and building up. And then finally, at the end, you can see the, the growth of glaciers covering the Northern Hemisphere there in, in and so uh, by having it in this Google um, Slides form, you can actually track the movement or kids can observe the movement. But it also has some additional benefits. And here's another one. For example, if, you, if kids are doing uh, these lessons remotely, uh, when they go to compare the relative age of the fossils, they can actually click on the timeline to get a sense of what the earth looked like during each of these time periods. And it'll take them to that slide so that they can actually look at uh, years ago or I might click on the one what it looked like 30 million years ago and so on and so forth. And then one final benefit is back here in our trait data. Um, it is also linked. So if I look at if I want to look at the fossils of uh, these ancient penguins, um, I can also get a sense of what the earth might have looked like during those time periods. And I put those links down here in this bottom square of each of the um, different uh, penguins. And again it takes it right to the age from which that penguin fossil was found and what the earth would have looked like at that period in time. All right, well, I hope you find that helpful. I'll put links to uh, all of these documents in the uh, discussion down below. And um, if you need any help, just give me a shout, thanks.